Hey guys, so as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be baking a cake right now. So, um, I'm actually, it's actually going to be red velvet and I never make red velvet cake, but I really do like the bloody red color. So let's go ahead and do that. No. So I have the batter here. Oh my gosh, guys. I look horrendous. I really look horrendous. This is like not my best look, y'all, but here is the red velvet. And then I'm doing pink frosting. And I'm actually going to dedicate this to you guys. I'm going to write some sayings on the cake, actually. So here's the pan that I'm going to cook it in. And I have to get a bowl to mix it in. And I think one of these shall do. Should do. They say on here, Grandma, Grandma, and this bitch ain't got shit. I think this one would work. Yeah. I would love for you guys to see the mix happening, but I don't think that would be possible. Honestly, I really don't. So we might just skip that process. Um, honestly, let's just go right into it. So I'm gonna open the box here and I'm gonna preheat the oven. So let's see how you do that. Let's make sure there's nothing in, of course, there's shit in the oven, but I'm not gonna take it out because it's dirty as hell. So let's just do 350, right? Yeah. Wait. You have to take no. out the other pan. I'm not taking it out. You have to. I'm not taking it out. What? I don't want a timer. Mom, I need your help. What? Can you preheat the oven? Oh, I need to preheat the oven. Try this. Excuse me. Like without my mom too. Like she didn't even, she couldn't even figure it out. So <laughs> I'm gonna put this in right now. Let's do that. Pop this bad baby open. I really love the consistency and the texture of this batter for some reason. It's very nice, very nice. Okay. Now that that's in the bowl, I'll show you. <laughs> I have nothing on that is gonna protect me from this batter, but I don't care. Um. Okay, three large eggs, let's do that. Guys, I'm literally giving you a tutorial on how to make a cake. What is going on here? And I'm not a fucking chef cook either on a chef show where they like know how to talk about food. <laughs> like, bitch, just put the eggs in. That's it. I'm not gonna tell you any other way. Just crack the egg and put it in. It's very simple. When you crack the egg, by the way, it starts dying, the batter. The batter starts turning red. Okay. Go the batter, so that what you're making. Guys. Uh-oh, spaghetti Oh, The eggs spilled everywhere. Oh my gosh, y'all. The egg went everywhere, let me show you. That's a very solid mess right there. Because this just happened right now because the fucking egg looked like it was frozen, right? The egg looked like it was frozen. So I was opening it to fully open it to see if it was frozen fully. And it actually wasn't. And now it just cracked and like basically cracked an egg open over the counter. And it landed on the floor. Can, can, like, you know, nice, nice for me. Now I have to clean it up in two spots. And now I have to do stupid ass measurements of the canola oil, the vegetable oil, the water. It's just 
who would ever want to be a chef? Who would ever want to be a chef? Not me. I don't want to worry about all these measurements. And actually, it wouldn't be a chef. It would be a baker. Because bakers don't make meals. They just make pastries. Or whatever the fuck. I don't know what they make, to be honest. Like what? You don't hear my mom. No, just something like, oh, I could be that baker though, that little baker that bakes up a little something. Uh, let's see if they would see anything. Yeah. Somebody, no. Somebody's calling you. Who? I don't know. Get it. You go get it. Get it. I'm cleaning this egg yolk off the floor. Epidemic sound is basically like, but say that I could be baking up a little something for you, you know what I mean? And what, is, what does that mean? Move, you're on the egg yolk. Is it rose? Like they acting like they don't know who that is. This is cleaned for the most part. And now I added in the, what is it called? I added in the oil and I added in the eggs and I added in the water. So now we're gonna mix. I don't think it's very wise to mix with a fork, but I'm not interested in cleaning either. So we're gonna use the fork. I actually wanted to give you a different view of what I'm doing, which is literally mixing, but Okay, that's not the best view. That just looks wrong, actually, if you ask me. But, oh, I hate mixing with a fork. It's giving me an ick. Do you know why? Because I can feel the point scratching against the bottom of the freaking can. Wow, this is why I chose to make red velvet. That is beautiful. That is truly a scene right there. I bet that this is what they use in movies. Yes, I know these shorts are a little bit tight on me and so is the top, so it's squeezing all my excess skin. But I think this is what they would use in movies, to be honest. For like a blood splatter scene. like. And I actually think this is too red. I think our blood gets darker once it hits the air. You know, it took somebody letting blood hit the air to know that too. In Hell's Kitchen. In Hell's Kitchen, I chef the impossible, you guys. Epidemic sound is basically.
gosh, I'm loving the color, guys. I think I want to paint my room that color. Making, mixing the, uh, the cake, the cake batter. Why don't I know what to call this? Cause I don't feel like the appropriate word is cake batter, but it is, it just doesn't sound intelligent at all. Anyways. I chef Hell's Kitchen, okay? Anyways, the oven did preheat, so we're just gonna pour everything into the pan. And my mom I'm wanted me to make cupcakes, but I prefer cake. So if there's still enough room for cupcakes, I will. What size is this pan? <laughs> what the hell? And then when they don't mind the rose on their period, literally silver platter, serving this to them on a silver platter. That is one mighty fine red cake. Let's put it in the oven. Okay. That is one mighty fine, hot fucking oven. Okay. That should do. And now we set a timer for one five minutes. So it's been 20 minutes. Let me pause this fucking show. So it's been 20 minutes and look at the sun. It's so beautiful. This is why I'm filming right here. You know, people that have been watching me for years, like they know my OG, OG days, like beginning, beginning. I filmed right here and I did a workout routine. Y'all remember that? I remember that. Anyways, and I remember exactly what I was wearing too. Not exactly, but like, I have an idea. Anyway, it's been 20 minutes. So I'm gonna stick toothpick in and see if it's ready. Whoa, look at that baby. Epidemic sound is basically Does she have toothpicks? She does. Have toothpicks. Surprisingly. Like, not super surprising, but. It was originally supposed to be 15 minutes, too. Okay, that's not ready. That still has to be cooked. For like five more minutes. All right, let's let it keep cooking then. Times two, take two. Trying to see if this is ready to be eaten. This was the first toothpick. That's not good. Here's the second one. No, it's still liquid. 
there. It's been 25 minutes. What the hell does it say on the box? The highest amount is 33 to 36 minutes. I'm gonna wait 35 minutes. So, there's my baby brother, he woke up. And now I have some company because my mom's a dumbass hoe who sleeps all day. So she went upstairs to go to fucking sleep again, even though it's freaking 5.41. Like who the hell sleeps at that time? But it's been another 10 minutes. It's time to check on this bad boy again for the third time. leave it in the fridge for like 10 minutes five minutes five minutes since i put the cake into the fridge Ooh, that is still so hot the metal that fridge did not do anything as far as that but i'm gonna frost it up I love making homemade cakes because they have a better fluff than uh, cakes from like the store and stuff. And whenever I make cakes like this, I don't want to have my first slice with frosting because I feel like it just drains out all the taste. I'd rather just have it plain. So I do cut out one slice like this and then the rest I will frost for whoever the hell likes frosting. Um, which it's strawberry frosting. So it's kind of a weird mix. It's like strawberry pink frosting with a red velvet cake. So I hope that the flavors do not clash. Epidemic sound is basically... Honestly, I think that this will be really gross, but we're already doing it, so. It's more for the uh, eye. Oh, it actually might low-key taste good. I'm gonna butter up half of it. There we go. That's pretty good. The baby is all over the floor. I'm gonna let that all sit out and that should be good. You want some frosting? Boopies! also shit but I don't know where his stuff is so I can't clean him and he stinks like a rat's ass and it's so annoying and he keeps grabbing everything I need my mom to wake the hell up bro and my grandma
grandma's probably gonna be so mad about me not cleaning yeah, anything up, but I just don't want to right now. Let's go ahead and give this cake a taste. Uh, uh, it's gonna be really not nice to eat with the smell of shit right next to me. Stop it! Mmm. That is so good. Worth it. Worth it. You know, it honestly doesn't taste like red velvet. It just tastes like chocolate. Come here, boo boos. If you can't tell, I really like this cake. Mm -hmm. This is too delicious. It has to have GMO in it. Epidemic sound is basically.